Today I'm headed to my hometown of Sonora, California, located in the foothills of the Sierra Nevadas. As in many cities and towns across the country, a Black Lives Matter rally has been organized. That is my destination for today. I've arrived about an hour early and I'm noticing that others have arrived early too. There will be a counter protest across the street from the park. The protest was organized by a local student who has invited people from outside the area to join. This has caused fear among many locals who are expecting a riot. I am optimistic but wary today. People in fear do rash things. Posters representing black lives lost recently line the center of the park. Demonstrators prepare for the protest and soon it's underway. Two distinctly different counter-protests stand across the street. A group of bikers has shown up and members of the VA hoping to protect the community, if need be. On the Black Lives Matter side of the street, our small town locals meet the people who've come up from Oakland. One gentleman thanked me for coming and emotionally said, I had no idea rural America cared. I'm not going to lie, yes, there was tension. Mostly on the BLM side were chants of no justice, no peace, love not hate, black lives matter, and silence is violence. Across the street was a little more random, but at one point the VA broke out into the Pledge of Allegiance. I found that endearing and wondered if the irony of with liberty and justice for all struck a chord. I'm third generation in this county, so of course I know people on both sides of the street. This is my friend Ben. Honestly, from recent events, I do understand the fear of violence, but we have to start somewhere. Unfortunately, there will always be hate from some. Yeah, that some extent because they were just bored. Now they are doing damage. If you can't see the damage, can you see that? Yeah. That's what I think about your camera. But lacking a guaranteed fight, the bikers were soon bored and left. I've been asked to join in a moment of silence, and yes, I will. All lives matter, we are all one. That's right, it's all one. We're even throwing the seatbelt even though I'm a reader. And then, quite peacefully, it was over. No trash left in the park, nothing destroyed, and maybe, just maybe, people learning to agree to disagree without incident. I was a child in the 60s. I remember, and I still hope, one day, maybe one day,